in other words, moving things around, adjusting the sizes of things, deciding what is, what is the important part of this scene. So the mountain for me is really going to be taking up the majority of this so scene. We've got these front uh, dark sort of evergreen bushes here and they'll go darker. Actually, let's go ahead and take them darker right now. No, no sense waiting to take them darker if they can go darker right now. So just with that ultramarine blue uh, and uh, some umber here. I'm just looking for some a basic uh, shape combined, really looking at the contour. I really want to use my full range of value here. Then I want to look at that scale, you know, is that, is that too tall already? If so, you know, with oil paint, it's super easy to kind of move your masses around. So to maintain like the grandness of this mountain, um, then I want to keep all of these other layers. This is going to have quite a bit of yellow in it because the sun is actually coming up behind the mountain here. I'm going to use a little bit of this Naples yellow light and the cadmium lemon. It's also getting a little bit of kind of a peachy color. Ooh, not that peachy. It's amazing how quickly those cadmiums. All right, let's try this. All right, that's nice. A little bit more yellow and white in there. But notice all of the values pretty much always maintain a very, very close value back here. And as long as it's lighter and cooler than what I have up here, wow, this is really a, the light is really beautiful right now. Maybe I have one, one peak here that kind of comes up. Might be nice. At this stage, you know, I'm really just wanting to get some paint down. I can kind of scrub this all on here. A deeper reddish brown with the, uh, the earth red. Yeah. So it's a darker value, but it's also nice and warm. So it feels like some of that warm light is kind of hitting it. Again, you have to keep in mind what the theme of the painting was. This is not about the adobe houses. They, they are just like a little, a little detail, a little touch of color, a little brushstroke of color, um, different shape perhaps but you do not want to start zoning in and like painting every little window and uh, getting super, super detailed. Using some cerulean and I love that Chinese orange to kind of warm that up. Some of these little bushes, again, just try to make some brush strokes here. some more of these down in front. Do some ultramarine and crimson, get sort of as dark and cool as we can here. Just separate out these two, two little bushes. And when you push that contrast, it's the same thing in still life. When you push some, some of this contrast darker because painting wet into wet, things start to uh, all come to the middle tone. So when you push this a little bit darker, it does start to push all of this further back, the mountains and the sky further back in space. Because everything gets a little bit lighter and cooler as we go back in space. As always, I hope this has been helpful to you and I wish you happy painting. Bye.